socialisation is a term that you hear commonly, particularly if you are considering getting a puppy or you've just got a new puppy. Lots of people's advice is that you must socialise the puppy. But what actually does that mean and what is socialisation? Socialisation really is getting the dog used to and accepting various aspects of the environment that you expect the dog, your adult dog, to take in its stride when mature. And socialisation perhaps isn't just about the more the merrier and getting out and about as much as you can. It's about being selective and doing the right thing for your puppy. Furthermore, there are people that obtain puppies at the right age, but then due to vaccination guidelines and veterinary advice, the puppy is kept exclusively in the house and misses the most important window of opportunity in their life. Personally, in consultation with my own vet, I take my puppies out from the age that I get them at eight weeks and I'm careful, I carry the puppy around, I do take the puppy to the park in the centre of the park to mix with other dogs but it's all very careful and considered and it's my personal preference but you do have to decide what you want to do for yourself bearing in mind the breed of dogs that you have and in consultation with your veterinary surgeon as well. Often people ask how they know if they're getting their socialisation right. Are they doing too much with the puppy? Are they doing too little? Well, all you have to do really is to look at your puppy. If the puppy is confident and is able to trot down the street next to you on a nice loose lead with people passing, children, scooters, all of the things that we encounter, if the dog copes with all of that and seemingly enjoys that, then yes, you probably are doing everything absolutely right. If you find, on the other hand, that your puppy is a little bit timorous with some noises or when you see slightly larger dogs, the puppy recoils behind your legs or panics slightly, then in those instances you would need more careful interaction, more careful socialisation with other dogs so that the dog gets used to that. Already your puppy has had positive experiences with other dogs, has learned other dogs are fun and enjoyable, and now it's time to start teaching the puppy that it doesn't run and play with every single dog. So it really is about keeping everything specific to your puppy. So that covers those dogs that live in cities and towns and small villages, but there are dogs that live in the country, in remote areas, and they can be some of the, the worst dogs for temperament that we have to deal with. And the reason for that is that the dogs have seen very little of life outside of their back garden or their home environment. So the dog may well be used to seeing family and friends visiting or getting on with one other dog that perhaps it lives with, but it certainly won't be used to a whole array of different people and won't have the necessary social skills to engage properly with other dogs that it may encounter on a walk. Now some people think that they've got a large garden or a couple of acres and that's sufficient for the dog. It's certainly not sufficient for mental stimulation onwardly, but for your young puppy who you want to develop into a confident, balanced adult dog, then the dog needs to be taken into neighbouring villages or towns and exposed to all aspects of life that the dog will be expected to encounter at some stage later on in its life. And it's important that you do that within the window of opportunity that you have. So between the ages of 8 and about 14 weeks, again depending on the individual and the breed that you have, those dogs need to be going into town and to different locations, public parks, once a day for the duration of that period because lots of their life thereafter will be spent in isolation and if you do ever wish to travel with your dog or go on holiday it's really important that the dogs are used to everything that they're likely to encounter in a normal urban environment. So when you are taking your puppy out and about and hopefully going for coffee and having nice experiences together Lots of people are drawn to a cute puppy. So many people will come over to you, coo over the puppy, oh my goodness, it's so cute, what's his name, how old? And that can be a really beneficial experience for your puppy. However, there is a point where you need to draw the line. If you have one of those dogs that are very friendly, very social, have had lots of positive experiences to date with people in public places, then those dogs can start to expect to get affection and attention from everybody that's passing. And your puppy won't be as cute as it is now forever. It may well be to you, but certainly not to the general public. And 
almost the general public will be training your puppy to jump up at them, to approach them for attention until they've had enough. And when your puppy's six months old and it's still trying to get attention from everybody, then people will be rude to you, telling you to get your dog under control. So when you are out socialising your dog, what you have to remember is it's your puppy. Other people don't have the right to impose. They should ask you if they can stroke your dog or not. And you have every right to stop them doing so because in the future, the dog, when it's problematic behavior, gets you into trouble and gets you shouted at, it's because you didn't control the people and didn't control your dog to stop them touching it and allowing your dog to jump and pester them. So having a puppy should be a really fun and enjoyable time. Some people find it very difficult. Um, if you do need help with obedience training and more information in regard to socialization, nutrition, toilet training, and all of those problems that you may encounter, then the DVD Smart Puppy Training is available from Pets on Film by myself and my colleague Vicky Laws and that covers from eight weeks right through to the puppy being six months old and obedience trained. So a commonsensical approach is if it's working for you and you're enjoying it and your puppy's learning, stick with it. If it's not working for you and you're not enjoying it, then don't hesitate to go and try somewhere else.